G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for yet another weekly game day squad update. Now of course, the uh, AFL season is currently over. Obviously the Pies won a thrilling grand final and in last week's video you would have seen me try and compile the best possible team I could for the grand final. But that season's all over, so I appreciate all of you who took part in that competition. We got about 184 I think over the course of the year, which is awesome. I'm going to keep that competition going in future seasons as well because this is the best platform for AFL fantasy etc I'm not just saying that I actually really believe that and uh, of course we are continuing on with the AFLW season in this video so if you haven't already joined in all the fun there is a link and an invite code to the true footy league in the description below we're still only five rounds into the AFLW season, uh, so it's not too late to make a team. If you're someone like myself, who you know obviously knows a lot more about AFL men's than AFLW, that's okay, because this is actually a good learning exercise. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about the players and keeping up with the teams. And tell you what, it really helps that the Eagles had a win on the weekend, and I am stoked. I just rewatched the highlights of that game. And I tell you what, you know, it's been a tough season. As I, I talked about this in the last video, to be an Eagles fan, you know, the two men's sides in the waffle and the AFL are obviously stunned it up but the Eagles AFLW team had a really good win at Mineral Zelsis Park over Port Adelaide and I'm going to celebrate today by getting a particular play into my team but we'll get into that shortly. Big game against the Giants this weekend they're winless we've had one win and it would be nice to get a couple of wins off the bottom of the ladder but we'll see what happens. So we'll crack into it and get into having a look at uh, you know how the competition's going so we hit competitions and go created because I created it. Oh, we've got 11 in the league now, so that's beautiful. So a couple of people signed up this week. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for doing that. Uh, I am sixth overall with 4,326 points. We've still got Lord Tobeth uh, winning the competition. Let's see how I did in round five. I came fourth. Okay, I'm happy with that. So if I'm, if I'm Finishing each round higher than my total ranking, I'm moving in the right direction, so I'm, I'm glad with that. 1378 points is uh, certainly the best score I've got this year. I have uh, obviously invested a little bit into my team, got some nice silver and gold players. I'm gonna make some changes in this video as well. And uh, like I said, I have got a particular player in mind to bolster my team. So let's go to squad and uh, just have a quick review of how my team went. So uh, Hannah Priest was absolutely enormous with 157. That is fantastic going, averaged up to 105. Backline uh, performed pretty well. Obviously, Bresnian didn't play, but Goranova um, played uh, reasonably well. Did some good things in that game against Port Adelaide, but 18, her score will count, obviously, because I had one less player on the field. It can be a little bit hard to predict which players are going to be in and out. Uh, Dalric played well again in that loss. Uh, Mia King, Malloy. Yeah, this was a much more improved midfield performance. In particular, Mia King was a fantastic pickup. Uh, Bowen did well for 87. So I'll consider putting her on the field for this game, but I haven't really decided yet. The Rucks, Chiefs Edmonds is having a great year. Average of uh, 92, but 124 would be her best score for the year. Gabrielle Newton, 136. And Zanka, again, backs up a pretty solid... 91, I think she, what did she get last week? Like 135, I was pretty happy with that. Uh, of course, Ashley Saint was suspended. I missed that one. And uh, that means that uh, Morris' score of 51 counts as well. The one that I might mix up a little bit, I don't know if I can yet, but Bodie is 48, she's a platinum player. Don't know if I can really afford that. Don't know if I can afford that long term, but I'm still building my squad. The longer you play this game, the more reserves you get. The more players you accumulate, the better your changes will be. So you would have noticed that I'm getting a, a lot, uh, well, my team's getting a lot better because I have more options week to week. So uh, we can review who did well in the reserves. Um, Gibson, 61 as a silver forward is solid. A lot of players didn't play. So I really did have a lot of the players that I... Um, needed to have in the team in the team uh gooch 41 she's a defender hickey is a gold ruck probably still doesn't crack my team tamara smith in silver uh yeah still still probably not so not a lot of upside in my bench options particularly the bronze i got a lot of players that don't play zagetti uh, 69 so she's she's pretty solid and prowls 70 but average of 45 so is that 70 an outlier? I'm still learning about these players, don't forget. All right, what we'll do is, uh, before I buy the player that I have in mind, I am going to open some packs because you do get free weekly packs. This is how you improve your team and accumulate. And I could use a forward, to be honest, although I think uh, Ashley Saint will be back this week. It was just a one-week suspension. Let's see who we got as the first forward. Teekle. Oh, yeah. Is that a uh, relation to Bryn Teekle? Just been delisted. That's awkward. Uh, who else we got? Is this a Ruckman? Ponta. Okay. Um, 
what I'm still learning about these players naturally, so I'm not going to uh, pretend I know if they're good fantasy players yet. Let's see if any of them are good. Okay, so uh, Bella, Bella's the Ruckman, sorry. Uh, she got 59. Solid. Uh, average of 72 as a forward is not bad. Julia Tickle has not played. Uh, good to see Gabby O'Sullivan back playing for Fremantle this week. But again, she's gold and an average of 60 or 57.6. Probably not enough to crack my team at the moment. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I have got... I'm going to celebrate, okay? I'm going to go to the market like Lil Piggy, and I'm going to get the Eagles captain in because she's actually having a fantastic... Well, she's just a really good, consistent player and was the best of field for the Eagles against uh, Port Adelaide this weekend. So I want to grab the silver version. I can afford. I've checked. I've got five bucks in my account there, and uh, but I can afford from a salary cap point of view as well. So what's the cheapest Swanson on offer? Let's click that one. Three forty nine. That's got to be the cheapest one. I'm happy with that. Let's pull the trigger. What's this one? Nine ninety nine. So this is a funny thing. You go to the market and uh, there's you know dozens of Emma Swanson silvers available, and they're all at different prices. You really, if you're going to set a price on a player, you got to check what else other other people are charging for it. But three forty nine. Average 121, consistent player, captain, gonna get a game every week. I'm gonna get Swanson into my team and that will put me at the top of the salary cap. So let's go back to my squad and I will get her into the team. Where do I put her is the other question. I'm guessing uh, O'Dwyer probably relegate to my bench and I get Swanson onto the field. Um, where is Swanson? There she is. 123. Yeah, so really consistent player. That's almost the highest average I'll have. Who's got my highest average? Yeah, no, Swanson by far. That's a bargain. That is a bargain. Do I leave Bowen on the field or, or on the bench or do I swap, swap it for, I don't know, she had a pretty good game last week, O'Dwyer. Yeah, I'll pop, probably put O'Dwyer. Cool. So that gives me a bit of depth now. Sweet. So that is a pretty solid team. Um, who else didn't play? Bresnian. So according to my mail, Bresnian has just got undergone, undergone a uh, ankle surgery and therefore will not be in this team. I probably should have grabbed a defender. Who is a defender that I can afford? Because you got a gold version of uh, Shannon, sorry, and then you got Gooch there in platinum. I can't afford either of those. So I'm going to have to put someone who's not going to play um, onto the bench and I'm gonna have to put Goranova back into my team. She's not a really good scorer Goranova, but she is What am I doing here? Sorry, I'm just gonna mess around with this a little bit because you have to Put players out before you can put them back on the bench. Bailey Hunt will become my bench option and then Goranova back on the field So that is not a huge win. Uh, what is Goranova averaging? 34. Yeah, not not amazing but I'd rather 35 bronze from Goranova than 45 from Gooch in platinum because I can't afford that. So I'm uh, just under the salary cap still. So um, do I take a punt on improving my Sinead Davison? She got 48. That's pretty solid. Is there anyone there? There's Prowse for 45. Maybe I, maybe I give it to Prowse. Reward her for a good game of 70. Average is about the same, so no real big difference. And maybe I just put uh, young Davison back on my bench. So I think I've improved my team there. So there you go, guys. Those are the moves I'm going to make to improve my team. I've brought in the skipper, Emma Swanson. Really happy about that. I didn't go up in salary cap. Bresnian's injury is a bit of a blow, but Priest, jeez. I only got her last week, I swear. So that was a really big improvement. I think I got Evans last week as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, really improved my team in recent times. Really happy with that. The next real task, I suppose, will be getting Bodie... Um, you know, maybe replacing Bodie with someone a little bit cheaper who averages similar. That would be a good win. And um, I'm going to leave Ashley Saint there because she was only suspended for one week. So happy with that, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you think of my team. And also let me know how your team is going. As always, make sure you join in all the fun if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.